Welcome back, this is Mr. Tipton, and today we are learning about the volume of prisms and cylinders. First, let's make sure we understand what volume is. Volume is the number of cubes in a three-dimensional figure. Area is the number of squares in a two-dimensional figure. Volume is how many cubes are in a three-dimensional figure. Prisms and cylinders, the volume for, for both of these, for all of these, can be found uh, with basically one formula. You take um, V equals capital B times H. Capital B is different than lowercase b. Capital B stands for the area of the base of whatever kind of figure you're using. And this time, H stands for the height of the prism. A couple things we have to keep in mind as we're doing this. Uh, you know, we're talking about area of the base of the figure. Well, how do you know what the base is? The bases are opposite, parallel, and congruent. Also, the height of a figure um, is what connects the bases. Looks like I need to add, H says height of the prism prism or cylinder actually I'm gonna I'm gonna change it to match the capital B and just say the height of the figure okay so a bit to write down there a bit to learn and remember uh, we'll be going back over it a number of times here in the examples so let's get going first we have a rectangular prism volume of a rectangular prism. We are always going to start with our formula V is equal to capital B times H. Capital B stands for the area of the base and in this case the base is a rectangle. Okay, uh, Actually there are three different options for what could be the for what you could use as the base but let's go ahead and say that this that I've outlined in green is going to be the base of our figure. Uh, base times height or length times width are different ways to find the area of a rectangle. Alright, so what I have in parentheses here, the length times width, that's uh, substituted for capital B. That's how you find the area. The H, remember, is the height of the figure. The height connects the two bases. So here, 6 is the height because it's going to connect the two rectangles that are opposite and congruent and parallel with each other. Okay, calculating obviously is just it's as easy as plugging in the numbers but gosh it'd be nice if we knew why we were plugging them in. Okay, 12 times 5 and then the height of the whole thing is 6 and you can throw that whole thing in your calculator. It's just multiplying three numbers. 12 times 5 is 60 times 6 is 360. And we have cubic inches. Inches with a little 3 by it. Cubic inches. Okay. In our next example, we have a triangular prism. Still the same formula capital B times H, but this time we're not going to use length times width for our capital B. Our base is a triangle. Okay, our bases are congruent and parallel and opposite. So how do you find the area of a triangle? One half times the base of the triangle times the height of the triangle. Now, don't get confused here. Capital B is the area of the base. It's all of this that's in parentheses. Lowercase b is just the base of the triangle, whereas capital B is the area of the whole thing. We also have two H's, which is kind of annoying. The H inside the parentheses is the height of the triangle, 
and the age outside, remember, is the height of the prism. Okay, let's plug in the numbers, and hopefully that'll make a little more sense. Okay, we still have the half, the base and height of the triangle. Okay, you have to be careful here. Remember back on the first screen, if I can get to it, and well, we talked about it with two-dimensional figures. Um, the height connects the base. Oh, that's why I didn't write it down, because we've already talked about it. How do you tell what the base and height of a triangle is? It's what makes the right angle. So look carefully. Which two lines, which two sides, make the right angle of the triangle? It's actually this one, the three feet, and this one, the four feet. Those are our right angles, so that is our base and height of the triangle. The height of the whole prism, well, what number connects the bases? The 10 does. Okay, we've got our triangles on the front and the back that are the bases, and 10 connects those bases. Even though it's not up and down, 10 is still the height. Height connects the bases. It doesn't always mean it goes up and down. The 5 in this problem is extra information. We don't really need it. Okay, so multiplying. Uh, let's see, half of 4 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. And 6 times 10 is 60 cubic feet. 60 cubic feet. So we've done a rectangular prism, a triangular prism, now let's look at a cylinder. Same formula. We're just taking the base and multiplying it. We're taking the area of the base and multiplying it times the height of the figure. This time, our base is what shape? It's a circle. How do you find the area of a circle? Pi times the radius squared. So when we do problems like this, we usually use 3.14 for pi, and we're going to multiply that times 4 squared, and then the height of the cylinder is 9 inches. Okay, inside the parentheses we've got some exponents to do, and your calculator can do all this for you, but I don't know, you start getting too many parentheses in there, and exponents and hitting lots of buttons. I don't know, some things you might just want to do on your own without the calculator. 4 squared is 16. It is not 8. And now 3.14 times 16 times 9 is... You know what? I'm not sure. What is that? 452.16 Somebody better double check me on that one. 452.16 cubic inches. Somebody check me. I better check myself too. I've got a calculator here. See if I can bring it on the screen. We've got 3.14 times 16 times 9. 452.16, okay. All right, we had it. So there you go. That's volume of prisms and cylinders. It's the area of the base times the height. You always start out with V equals capital B times H, and you just plug in what you need to for capital B. All right, if you have questions about anything we did in this video, write them down, bring them to class. And we'll see you soon.